elected, by the way. And really came up with a, 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 what they considered to be, which the National Assembly considered to be an excellent formula, and you know, supported by the executive to actually remove. Uh, uh, the two, do away with the two-thirds gender principle, scrap the 47 seats, reduce the counties to 10, mm. from 47 to 10, and all that. It is to the Senate that we sought, uh, we went and we sought assistance to be able to defend those principles. And Ekpe Thuro, together with the senators and the governors, actually, we, we, we came together with the women in solidarity. And so, even when you look at uh, the debate even around the elections, um, uh, the amendments to the Elections Act, when the country was really teetering, uh, there, was, it, there was so much uncertainty mm. and there was so much uh, tension about how this thing is going to go. It is the Senate that stepped in and, and, and steadied the, 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 the ship. And I think that the Senate, much as you call it Nyumbaya was there and people deliberately, you know, that is also the narrative that is aimed at continuously demonizing and continuing this narrative of that it is a useless body, it actually should be scrapped. Yeah. The, the, the Senate has always given guidance and put their foot down. When the executive, as, as uh, Senator Mutula here said, uh, was, has been overzealous, overzealous. You know, because I think that even from, from, from its inception, there has been an attempt at demonizing um, um, devolution. Totally. And so the narrative has been one that Kid. demeans this house, makes it look, there's been, I mean, the debate around the upper and the lower house, there is nowhere in the world where a Senate is the lower house. But, nowhere but, but, but in the, the question, world. So, the question I mean, in Kenya, they have said the Senate is the lower house, the Senate they is agreed the agreed to a ceasefire. So they they didn't, didn't solve it. We know, but here's the thing. So Senate, you've said Senate is uh, sort of the cooling house. The National Assembly is where the heat is and they're trying to grab all this stuff. The guys that we've forgotten until now are these guys MCAs. And you guys have gotten a very, very bad reputation. That's a fact. I think uh, we have played our role. That's why everybody wants to become an MCA. Uh, and Apparently as many as 20,000 people are running for MCA in this election. Yeah, so we have actually, as, as much as uh, we, I think it's exaggerated. we have uh, uh, yeah. the wrong perception of the created about the MCAs, we have actually done our role perfectly. That's why everybody... Wait, you've no, 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 Yeah, let me finish. Yes. According, according to our, our uh, the, okay. the legal whatever. Because for the Senate, I think what they need to do is to fight for their space. Uh, so that, uh, for example, you see now the, the National Assembly has denied them the oversight uh, one billion. Yes. And uh, that's why we have so many senators now saying we are going to, to be governors. What we want to have is that to ensure that uh, the executive arm, the office of the president, okay. whenever a bill is passed in the National Assembly, should also be, there should be a consent between the Senate and the National Assembly. So that, because this, this, this is parliament, parliament is, consists of the Senate and the National Assembly. But here we see what the National Assembly says takes precedence than okay. the Senate. And that's why Let me say something. the Senate is no, very quick, like, Because I have to go to break here. Very quick. Mm -hmm. So that this narrative is over. And I'm going to use the sidebar uh, mm -hmm. so that we can relay this narrative. I, am, I, I represented uh, the Senate in a platform called the IPU. It's an inter interparliamentary union. It's 165 countries. They have analyzed the youth in 165 parliaments. Guess what number we are in the 165 parliaments? Number two after Bhutan. So we um, like a little mountain kingdom somewhere in Asia. Uh, yes, that, after that, we are the second. In the 165 parliaments, the Senate of the Republic of Kenya is the one that has actually achieved that in terms of youth. So this new Bawaze is a story existing in people's minds. And, and yeah. finally, finally, it's yeah. also still attracting men and women of gravity. Yeah. Uh, I, can, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can talk about a few. Kipro uh, 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 right. the man of gravity, is well known. Margaret Kamar. Margaret Kamar. Um, Susan Kihika. Susan Kihika in, in KK, she's uh, still in Nakuru. And I, I can tell you the litany, and quite a number of still are st staying there. All right. So it's not, it's not lost its appeal for those of us. Let's leave it there just for the moment. We'll come back and talk about whether MCAs have done their role perfectly. And now they want more money and to be paid until March 2018. There's plenty to discuss. Everybody's staying with us just for the moment. We're going to be right back.
guess we're here we go welcome back to sidebar live from mombasa my whole panel our whole panel is here daniel Kinchori. we've got oh look at that that even that is going off is right now <laughs> <laughs> Daisy M. Dan and Senator Hassan Omar. Um, Daniel Kajuri represents for the great people of Kitangela in the County Assembly of Kajiado. Explain to me why MCAs want to be paid until March 2018, even though there's an election in August of 2017. I think they're just asking the basic uh, minimum requirement of the Constitution, Article 1774, which says that the term of uh, County Assembly, very specific, is five years. And uh, what we're asking is an interpretation of that uh, because you cannot just wish it away. Yeah, that is the rule of law. Was, was it not understood when everyone was coming in from the presidents on downwards to the senators, to the governors, members of parliament and MCAs, that this was going to be a special term of office? Because it started in 2013 because of the constitution, but now we're going to go and regularize it such that it's going to be August 2017, August 2022, etc. Article 177-1A talks of the next election is going to happen on August the second Tuesday of the fifth year. And the same same article, the end of it, uh, uh, article 1774 says that, and the term of the county assembly will be five years. So we, as legislators in the county assembly, are asking, and uh, this actually is a case already before court for interpretation of that because that's the rule of law. Couldn't the president make the same demand? Yeah, let me tell you. First and foremost, uh, yes, you talked about demonization of the Senate. Mm. I do, I, I do appreciate the challenges and part of the quality that we do not appreciate about county assemblies. But even in my opening yesterday, I said, if you continue to constantly throw mud at the institution of county assemblies, first and foremost, it then fails to attract good people. And then that culture is not, is not decimated. So that culture remains a culture that appears like ordinary conduct. So unless we, we you know, are debate and conversations, and even how we elect people, we raise the conversation and we raise the bar. Uh, we will not be able to have county assemblies as discharge both the spirit and letter of the constitution. You have not addressed so, this no, so, but, but then coming to the second issue, I think, to be honest and fair to them, they're only doing what their bigger brother in parliament is doing. Absolutely. So it's, it's, it's you know, this pontifical kind of attitude. We say how, how county assemblies are probably too much. If you today open up the lead of what, how parliament travels on a year-to-year on a, on a -to -year basis, the county assembly is child play. You know, even put together, people take a million shillings for a one-week travel. But Hassan, so Hassan, 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 I have been opposed to the fact that we, we are a transition, uh, an elected leadership that is on a transition. Yes. So the sacrifices need to be made. Sacri even Uhuru Kenyatta will start to demand it. Then uh, the senators will, will do so. The senators will do so. And then National we will have a, a, a situation of chaos. Okay. Let the constitution start to take its natural cycle after the August election. So the, next, the predecessors who come in will start enjoying that full benefit of an August election spoken every like five a, years. Spoken like a true leader. Thank but you. let us also not forget. And you know, the one thing that I keep finding is that Kenyans tend to have selective memory. If you recall, there was a case that went to court and Justice Lenaola actually spoke about this matter because he's the judge who ruled on this matter. And it was very, very clear that the term of office for the incoming legislators would actually be shorter than... This is after the 2013 uh, election. After the t 2013 election. Mm -hmm. Because remember that we went into the... Th 20 th this problem has been caused by having the 2013 general election in, uh, in March. March. Okay, remember we, we were to have our elections in, t t Back in, 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 in August of 2012. Yes. You know, in, in keeping with the constitution. So as a transitional and inaugural... Uh, legislator, uh, county assemblies, senate, and all. They're all in transition. So I do agree that there needs to be sacrifice. We need to see leadership on the part of our legislators. I think it's, it is unreasonable for them to begin to cite the constitution, which is, it is correct, because the constitution really does stipulate that, but there is a ruling to that effect that made this a transitional uh, um, uh, 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 leadership, you know, in terms of term of office and when we will have our next elections according to the calendar. Because if we push the elections 
to, to um, uh, let's say, March of 2018, we will be faced with the same argument in, in 2022. 2022. But so right. it will be a never-ending cycle yes, unless people there, step there's up. Some, there's something there, before, there yeah. is the issue. Parliament has raided the public coffer, okay? Because the MCAs are simply saying, if we will not be, if our term will not be extended, then we must be paid. Until you then. Know, until then. Because remember that uh, there's been there's the issue of the car loads, you know, the car grants. Grants, because, in fact. Yes, but you see, the, that's the other thing. Even as a transitional body, as the first uh, county assemblies under the new constitution, the, the, the framework for remuneration and allowances has not been set as parliament has been as, as has been set for parliament but, but there's, there's something, parliament want, to, there's something I want to bring in before, before, before we go to yeah because senator i want you to answer this as well but i want to take on hassan i listened to your speech yesterday um i've heard what you said today and you're making mca sound very good all mm -hmm. power for the course but mcas yeah. here's my point <laughs> mcas have been known county after county after county they threaten to impeach a governor they then go for a so-called retreat come back and suddenly they've changed their minds and you see that people have uh, developed their lives. They have been compromised. That's what you're trying to In say. In effect. So MCAs have been known as a so body, and which is why, and which is a, hold on, Hassan, mm. which is why some people are saying the MCA is one of the most attractive positions there is, because all you need to do is simply threaten a black sitting governor, governor yes. blackmail them, and here you are, you'll be sorted out. That's what I'm saying, on a case-to-case -case basis, rather than a profile. So not a whole self condemnation. That, that is stereotyping, yeah. yeah. You, no, but it's a fact. You, no. Call, you see, if you think that a county, a gov a county assembly of County X yes. uh, had it threatened to impeach the governor on the basis that they wanted to blackmail the governor to get some money, you highlight that. That is that, it, that yes. Particular, mm. Mm. Yeah, that particular instance. Mm. If a county mm. assembly in Nakuru, Nakuru or Kisumu, has fought, you highlight those two, those county assemblies, in fact, expose those leaders. Uh, and therefore, that exposure and that vilification, public vilification or shame might then get others to, mm. as, uh, to deter from doing those type of things. Right. And because there are two or three county assemblies that fight, then it doesn't make it appear that you don't always refer to them as former okay. councillors, okay. derogatory and stuff like that. Senator, Senator, Senator you're, you, you're a lawyer, so <laughs> I want you to also address the, their <laughs> argument that the constitution that says the term of the county assembly is gone, gone until March 2018. No, no, unfortunately, I don't agree. And I don't agree from the perspective that, uh, and, and uh, Daisy is right. How do we get into an election in March? It was through an interpretation of a, a ruling of a court, the High Court. Mm -hmm. That ruling was not challenged by anybody. And that ruling went a step further. That ruling actually put us, all of us, on notice. Yeah. And that is why I disagree with the idea of setting aside money even for members of parliament. Mm -hmm. It gave put us on notice that we would serve for a term that is less than five years completely. And therefore, when Mwashimua uh, decided that he was going to buy, he was on notice. Yes. And you, notice doesn't mean that he was served. Notice means that it's a matter of public neutrality you're supposed to know. But number two, it's the reading of the constitution. It's required to have, you're supposed to read it so that it makes sense. Now, if the election for the governor is on the second week of August, right. And the county assembly is supposed to be in office 14 days after that election. You cannot then have in the same breath an argument that your election will be in March. And similarly, therefore, it follows that you cannot say you should be paid for the days you have not worked. We cannot have that argument. So this has no legal basis what they're asking for? No, it doesn't. Even by the, the, the case they have filed in court, you would have to appeal against the earlier decision that was passed in 2013. You are seeking for a legal interpretation where there is already a legal interpretation. MC Kanchori, the two lawyers have spoken. So I think, as far uh, as I'm concerned, nobody says they want an election in March. What they are simply saying, please justify pesa. our salary for eight months. I right. think what they are saying uh, is not there in law. It, okay. it Larry, can exist in our minds that we should have been there for five years, but that's the end. Larry, uh, is on the second aspect, one moment, okay, on the second aspect, I agree with Senator Omar to the extent that we have, and I was very surprised, that in a, in a funeral of, of Governor Gashagwa, they condemned all MCAs. It's a blanket condemnation. Because you know it makes people happy that you can condemn MCAs and praise governors. Yet ideally, the people who are pilfering funds, as far as I'm concerned, are governors and not MCAs. But this is the point. Members of parliament, our National Assembly, at some point got a special kitty for one committee. Each one of them, 100 million, etc., etc. Roads committee, budget committee, environment committee, 
I mean, the one committee, how many committees have been disbanded because of allegations of corruption? Mm -hmm. Nobody ever sees that, in fact, the, the things you see in some county assembly is an exact mirror of what happens in, in the National Assembly. In the National no. Assembly. Sorry, sorry. Uh, what, uh, Mr. Kanchuri wanted, wanted to defend himself yes. because you've uh, given him a lot of things. Two to things. Because I have to uh, break right two now. Two things. Yes. It's unfortunate that uh, even Wallace here is stereotyping the entire 47 <laughs> county assemblies. Mm -hmm. For example, where I come from, where I come, <laughs> I come, I where I come in Kajiado, yes. the governor has only two elected MCS. Yes. The rest from, are, his party. from his party. Yes. The rest are from the opposition. We've never threatened to impeach him. We have given him the budget in time. We've given him all the required uh, legal framework for him to perform. Yes. So you cannot just say all the assemblies are, are and it comes from my word, actually, yeah, yeah. that uh, every time we threaten governors, that is very wrong. Secondly, we are not saying that the election did be moved. No. no, what we are saying, there is a conflict of laws already here because uh, uh, we, we cannot just assume the, the Constitution is saying the county assembly goes for a term of five years. And we, as responsible legislators, are asking. That's why we have gone to court. The last uh, 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 place where you get your defense. We're asking for these matters to be clear so that uh, we don't hear people wanting to move help, the election date. Because yeah. when the election, I can help and because the Senate has not done it, we should have done it very fast because they are the protectors of the devolution. We should have actually been the very first people who have no, come no, no. to the yes, defense. When, when it says yes. the second week of August, in the fifth year. Does it? That's it. And, and the fourth the fifth year. In the fifth year. Just that is where your five years come from. And at Kofo, uh, section so you four. Can't, you yes. can't interpret the fifth year to mean anything. But the same and article, the, the, the no, same no, article no, says, no, just one time of five months. Yes, real quick. And actually very clear. Let me make this very clear. We are not saying pay us for the this term. We are saying give us an interpretation of that confusion in the constitution. And that's so why that we have gone to court. That is the You guys are some of the media personalities that have a lot of respect for. So don't drop the ball. There's a very perversive culture within the political class in this country. You you will highlight a few things about people a whole contingent of going to the Olympics, for reasons I okay. don't know myself. Then you, know, you don't see any follow through. All so right. this, is, this is the kind of way. And therefore, okay. a lot of people then start to, to take up these practices. Yeah. And it appears like commonplace in politics. Yeah, it appears yeah. like right. commonplace in elected leaderships and elected, elected institutions. Okay, fantastic. I have to take a break. I and think and don't easy. stop inciting the public against the MCS. We have been elected like any other we leader. Agree. We are not son of small gods. So yeah. if it is the law, let it be applied to, to, everyone. Everyone. to everybody. But I'm just so that's 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 the National Assembly has actually offered itself. We have not. We are actually just in the pit. Otherwise, we'll have also demanded like that. No, yes, guys, guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, Daisy, ah, Daisy, hold on. We, to, we need to go into a break. Exactly, because that's a good answer. I promise you we need to go into a break. We are here <laughs> on site, but <laughs> in... Yes. That's Larry, the last word from uh, yes, uh, uh, Kachori from the Great Book of Kitangela. The rest of the panel will stay for us for the next bit. Right now, what else are you going to throw to break? Go do it. I was going to go because, you see, I can look at a bar behind you on your own sidebar, but, uh, yeah, everyone is looking at the bar. Don't worry, there's no barman behind you. We're on sidebar right here. We're discussing a number of issues. When we come back from the break, we need to look at the doctor's issue. Yes. Is a government acting in good faith when it comes to the doctor's issue? still have most of our panel here. See you on the other side.
there was so much to discuss on Side by Life from Mombasa County, so everybody's staying around. So let's talk about this. We're back live. We are back live. Yes, you're starting, you're starting your tea. I am sorry. So you can start it on the TV. People have always wondered how you start your tea. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Dr. Nil Nicholas Muraguri today is sending a statement to the governors countrywide and telling them that they are not obligated to pay the doctors for the 100 days that they were on strike. But he's obligated to return the money he's taken. <laughs> but anyway, just go ahead. Senator <laughs> Mutula Kilozo. Mm. Can he do that? Can governors no, do that? He can't do that. Let me tell you why. One of the one of the things that stalled <coughs> the return to work formula. In fact, on the day we were supposed to make the press conference, there was a delay of almost three hours. And what was the delay? Because the doctors were told by the governors that they will not be paid for three months. And in the return to work formula, it is very clear that no doctor will be victimized whatsoever for whatever reason. And therefore, what Muragori has done is go back on his word. Mm. In fact, what I told Wacho, the chairman of the Inter-Religious Council, and Bishop Rotich, because when I told him that the government must sign as a commitment, he said, why don't you let me, Senator? Let me, leave this to me. I give you my word. I said, your word can go, it will take us nowhere. But when they finally append the, uh, the signature to the return to work formula, the same person who sat in the press conference and signed on the return to work formula, now issues another directive. The second issue is this. What is Muragori's role in the Council of Governors? He's just an ordinary PS seated in Nairobi. He has no role to direct a government to begin with. He has no role to direct a Council of Governors. This man has an ego as big as this country. We must tame him and I must tell But him. are you saying that he's acting on his own behalf? Because that he's acting in bad faith. No, 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 the bad faith, the bad faith is accepted, but is he acting on his own, on his own behalf? Because who, 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 he must be acting on behalf of the central government. Whoever he's acting whoever on, is behalf is acting on behalf of. Him. Because remember that this was a negotiated settlement. Yes. So the government, by going... National government, he that is. is he yes. is obviously a government officer. Yes. So we don't want to imagine that he's acting on his own. Yeah. Uh, he's uh, obviously acting uh, under uh, some uh, kind uh, of instruction. And the reason... But, but, but mm -hmm. worse for me, I think, in this whole Dr. Saga, is that nobody is taking responsibility. Because even for him to act in such bad faith, faith. you know, in the face of the tragedy, you know, because they've talked about the, 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 the cost of human life. Mm -hmm. So now this is an exacerbating factor. Yeah. This is now going to bring added tensions after everybody has gone out Absolutely. of their way yeah. to bring this situation to a halt. And everybody, there was relief. People even prayed. They sealed the deal with a prayer. With a so prayer. I think that it's bad faith on his part and on the part of whoever is in working. Let, let, also let, 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 that let, the let, government, let, let, I think that the president should, at, at the very least, ensure that officers acting on behalf of the national government do not go contrary to what government has agreed on. Because government really should be seen to honoring its word. Because at what point then will people believe, believe government. government when government appends its signature to anything? All right. Because that's, 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 that's unacceptable. Look, governments must know that the minute uh, they get out of uh, any collective bargaining uh, situation, mm. which is apparently happening to teachers, which is apparently happening to lecturers, it's happening to the doctors, it's happening to the nurses. The obligation does not rest mm. once they, they have gotten these people back to, work. to work. You know, it appears it's a government that is weak need. It's always short term in its objective. Yes. Mm. And then I also want to be up now to, 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 to hold some of these public officers to account. The reason the strike also was prolonged for about 100 days is partly because of Dr. Muraguri. Yes. The, 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 the showdown he had with Dr. Milo. Yeah. So this, the, you, you go and patronize, you, you go and patronize everything. And after we've gotten our doctors back to work, you're trying to send them back. But guys, in, in all fairness, so, hold, hold, hold on, so, hold on everyone. In all fairness, Dr. Muraguri is not here, so he cannot defend himself. I want to ask a different question, which you're free to sort of uh, cobble together what you're about to say. Yeah. Who wins in this situation where the government seems to be acting badly? Uh -huh. who wins? Let's, let's you should be asking a different question. Who loses? No, we know who loses, but yeah, who yeah, wins? Yeah. Because there must be no, someone who wins for someone Dr. to come and say... Dr. Muragori no, and his boss do not go to public hospitals, my friend. Now, we are, we are in a situation where the doctors went to court after a document was signed by a fellow who turns around and says, oh, by the way, I was not in office when I was signed this document. The court then rules in their favor. We then go back and change everything else and they agree, let's rewrite another document. He then now goes back. And then in the process, you've forgotten that it was the question. 
we go to Tanzania and look for her. 500 doctors. Dr. Kutoka, Tanzania. So, so the Kenyan ben, Medical Protection and Dentist Union, before we jump in here, has said that these 500 doctors, um, we, should, we don't need to be importing 500 doctors when they are unemployed Kenyan doctors, but yes. also it goes against what the return to work formula agreed. Yes. Is that true? It's a fact. Because as we speak, there are 200 doctors who have been on queue since November 2016. There are 1250 who are supposed to complete their apprenticeship and then be hired in the course of the year. The return to work formula had proposed that they would be hiring 1,200 doctors per year. So you ask yourself the question, if this was an issue when they were discussing the return to work formula and they were discussing the collective bargaining agreement, which is supposed to be signed in 60 days, did they disclose? Senator Asan Omar has said something called bad faith. When you're negotiating a settlement, the lawyers will tell you that you must come on the table with clean hands. You can't sit on a table and you're hiding cards. That you are telling him, sign here, I will sign your CBA after 60 days. But meanwhile, go Bailu ahead. and Governor Aguma are flying to Dar es Salaam to go and sign documents in Kiswahili. It's, it's <laughs> unacceptable. I think uh, <laughs> this week, uh, State House justified this 500 doctors deal. This on Sunday, actually, Manoa Sipisu said that the Tanzanian doctors are cheaper because they're not, they're not being paid a pension, they're not paid all those other statutory benefits that Kenyan doctors receive. So, overall, they're cheaper. Uh, Larry, in, in, let, me, let me just come. That's cheaper. even worse. One. Uh, you're actually wanting to bring in people. I think. Uh, oh, hold on. We, 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 sorry, let we must first thank uh, His Excellency the President for uh, bringing this uh, drama of doctors to an end. Because to us, because we are the one who have these doctors. Of course, health is now devolved. It's devolved. So it was actually wrong in the first place for these doctors to go and uh, strike in Nairobi. They will have done that in our previous county because now health is actually one of the devolved function. The, the big issue so with this doctor... The, the, doctors should not have been going the, the big Nairobi. issue with this doctor is not even about salaries. It's not about being paid. They want to go back to the old regime where they are controlled under Afia House. And here in the counties, we have put them on toast. And I think what we need to make it very clear is that health is a default function. I am paid uh, my salary the same day a doctor in my county is also paid that day. So there is no issue of delay of their salary. If my salary is delayed, there is also delay. Let me finish. Let me yes, finish. Uh, uh, and he's being also the chairman of the health committee. Yes, yes. And we are the one who know the mess these doctors have been doing. There are do doctors mean? who are operating in Nairobi. They have never stepped to a clinic in the remotest part of Kajiado. For the for the since independence and they have been paid the salary uh, all that, that time. I don't agree. Uh, but I, I, I have. I, I'm I'm speaking the from question, experience. The question is this: uh, You've said you so the big issue uh, of the doctors yes, is purely yeah. about uh, trying to go back. But Mr. Kanchiri, yes. you've yes. thanked the president. Mm -hmm. yes. um, you said thank you. On the issue of the issue of the PS, let me just answer him. The issue of the PS of the salary. Yes. It's, it's not Moraguri who is paying them the salary. It is the county government. But so for Moraguri, you can only speak for those in the national referrals. But for the counties, I think it, it, it's, it's just so making... Are you uh, going to pay salaries? Uh, uh, it has no legal effect. No, but we will pay the salary. We will pay the salary. We will deal with our doctors as Kajado No, but counties. will you? Yes. You sit, you sit right now. Yeah, You're yeah, chairman yeah, of the health yeah, committee. Yeah, yeah. Will you pay for the 100 days on strike? Those who will come back, those who came back when they were required, they are going to be paid. When were they required? The deadline. There was a deadline for them to come. In fact, those who have not come, most of yes, them will be sacked. Larry, today I want and to make uh, a very painful statement. Huh? Let's let these uh, people in the county government not trivialize doctors. Yes. Let's treat them with the decorum and the respect they deserve. Let me okay. make this very con this statement that my, you might not all like. The doctors, contrary, apparently are the cleverest people in out class. of every cycle. Of exams in the in and the then, profession. Yeah, no, no, in your in, class. In your class, the guys who went to medicine were the ones who came out with A's. Yeah. Those are the cleverest people in this country. But you even take them to med school. Even a driver so, is yes. also a uh, clever person. Whatever. Yeah, your yeah, driver is very good. Look at them. 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 Look
the, 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 I saw this in the Kenya West side, that you retrench workers and then you go out there and seek other workers. Foreign workers usually. Foreign, foreign workers, workers usually. Non -experience. And non experience. And then you say you are paying them cheaper. Okay. Why would you do that in a country where the government is saying you are looking, you are getting people jobs and then you go and look for people out there? Unacceptable. <laughs> 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 Oh, my name is Wallace Kantai. If you, is next to you. you forget, you forget your website. I'm sorry. I'd have to say, my name is Wallace Kantai. We will all be back. <laughs>